Let's geek out a little bit. I want to show you all the Chrome extensions that I use to run my eBay and Amazon dropshipping businesses. And make sure to stick around to the end because there's one Chrome extension in particular that I think you need to be using because if you don't, you could get really screwed. So before we dive into what the Chrome extensions are that I use, I know that there might be some of you who aren't familiar with what these are. So what is a Chrome extension? According to Google's own website, they are small software programs that customize the browsing experience here on Google Chrome. They enable users to you know, change the way the browser works. Usually it's designed to fulfill a single purpose. Basically the way that I think of it is that these are little hacks to make your life easier. And if you look on the top right up here, you'll see that each of these little buttons, these are different Chrome extensions. As you can see, I have a lot of them because I really love them um, and they do a lot to make my life easier. So I wanna show you each of these. So the first one here is this one. It's called Clipboard History. And the really cool thing about this one is that let's say you copy, you wanted to copy this, right? You copy it and then later on you remember, oh, I also wanna copy down this link. So you copy that. Well, now you just lost the first copy. Now, if you click clipboard history, it shows you your full history of everything that you copied, whether it was in this browser or another browser. So really powerful. It's saved me um, in a lot of situations where I meant to paste the link somewhere, paste whatever I copied somewhere else, forgot to do it. You can easily go back and see your whole copy history. So another thing I want to show you before we move forward is where to find all these Chrome extensions. You're just going to, you could search for Chrome extensions and click on the first result. And here's a whole ton of them. You can search through here, find different ones, but all the ones that I'm mentioning in this video will be linked up underneath this video. You click on that, it will take you right to the Chrome extension I'm talking about. Most of them are free. I think all the ones I recommend are free. Once you find one, if you want to use it, just click on it, click on add to Chrome, and it just gets added to the top right here. So let's get into the next one up here. I showed you this one. The second one here is called Last Pass. This is a really powerful tool because it saves all your passwords inside one online vault, and that vault has one password for it. So all you have to do is remember one password to enter into that vault. You don't have to remember your different password for every single website. And the really cool thing about it is that when you go to the website, go to a website that has the password saved for it, like here I am on AutoDS website, it will automatically fill in the password for you. Now Google Chrome does this for you automatically. It has it built in. I trust LastPass a bit more than that. I think it's a bit more secure. So I don't save my passwords to Google Chrome. I save them inside LastPass. I can also access this from any browser. Um, so if I'm changing, if I'm going to another computer, all I have to do is log into LastPass to get all my passwords back on that computer. Other cool thing about it is that it will recommend stronger passwords for you. If you're on a new website and you're signing up for the first time, it will recommend a password for you that's super secure. So you're not using your dog's name for your password. It's gonna use a real strong password. Then it saves that password uh, for you so you don't have to worry about remembering it. I've looked into it and from what I understand, it's really secure, very safe, and that's the one that I use. Awesome. Now that we're on this website, AutoDS, I'll show you the other extension here. This is, you see it right here. That's the AutoDS extension. This is a AutoDS, if you're not sure what that is, that's a software eBay dropshippers use to list items onto eBay and to reprice them if the price changes on the supplier's website. Most of the repricing and listing softwares have their own Chrome extensions. 
So for instance, here, I came to a listing on Walmart. And look here on the bottom right. You see there's, a, there's the AutoDS logo here. That's because uh, of the Chrome extension. So what this will do is I've hit extract. It pulls in the um, information for this listing that I need in order to list this item onto eBay. And in fact, if I go back to the search results, I just search for the word table here, give it a second to load. If I click extract here, it pulls in the information for every search result on this page. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to grab that information and then list those items onto AutoDS. And like I said, every repricer lister pretty much has their own Chrome extension, though they all do something slightly different. The other thing I wanna show you while we're on this page is give it a second, there should be something that pops up. Uh, it was here a second ago. Let me try reloading. It's a Chrome extension I use called Price Blink. And what Price Blink will do is show you if this item is available on any other website for cheaper. Um, it was just working a second ago. I don't know why it's not. So I'm going to go back, try a different product. Let's try this one and see if Price Blink pops up. Yes. So right now it just checked. It says you can buy this product instead of for $140, you can buy it for $130. Um, by clicking through here, it will show you the website where that's available. So that's a way to save money. You can see if the item's cheaper on another website. Now let's say we wanted to order it from here, from Walmart. Well, I have two extensions up here to save even more money on all my orders. And that's Giving Assistant Chrome extension and the Simply Best Coupon Chrome extension. These are cashback websites. Normally the way cashback websites work is I would go to Simply Best Coupon, oops, Simply Best Coupons.com. And then I would search on there for Walmart. And then I would sign in, click this link, it would bring me to the Walmart website and then any purchase I make, I would get three and a half percent back. Well, these Chrome extensions cut out a step for us because all we have to do is click here, click activate. And once it's done activating, it'll tell you that you can go ahead, place your purchase and you're going to get cash back for that website. See, success, cash back is ready. So instead of going through the Giving Assistant website or the Simply Best Coupon website, I can just click that Chrome extension and it does the same thing. So really powerful there as well I say because it saves you a lot of time. Now the other one up here after that I have is called Spot and Paste. I made a video all about Spot and Paste before, so I'm going to link up that video. Uh, up here, you should see something that pops up that says um, there's a video you can watch about Spot and Paste. So if you're curious about that, uh, you can watch that video. I'll also link up that video in the description of this one. Basically, what this does is it will allow you to quickly copy buyers' addresses from eBay and paste them quickly into your supplier's website. So the next Chrome extensions I wanna show you really help you with customer service and answering customer questions. So if we come over to Gmail, this works in Gmail, but the one I'm going to show you right now also works inside eBay messages. I'm sure you frequently found that you're answering the same customer questions over and over and over again. Hopefully you have scripts that you just copy and paste from, but you still have to go to that document, copy, and then paste over. To save you a step, I use a Chrome extension called Permanent Clipboard. So let's say a customer asks me where their item is. Well, if I right click, here you'll see it says Insert from Permanent Clipboard. And that's here because it's up here on the Chrome extensions. And I'll click on the one that I wanna choose on my Real Gmail, I have a lot of them, but for this example, it's only one right now. It says, where is my order? I click there, and this is something I made before. It says, don't worry, it's on its way, chill out, <laughs> right? You wouldn't say that, but whatever it is you wanna do. 
And the cool thing about this one is that you can add to this. So let's say people frequently ask you, why did this item come in a Home Depot box? And you would type the appropriate response, not this one, I'm just gonna put, because I'm a drop shipper, right? <laughs> then if you want to save that response, you highlight it, right click, hover over permanent clipboard and select add to permanent clipboard. So now when I come up here to the Chrome extension, I'll see here's the original one I had and here's the new one. I like to edit it so you can change the title of it because usually the response is going to be really long. So you want to make the title you know, shorter, makes more sense. So usually I'll put in what's the question here. People will ask why the box from Home Depot or whatever, or Walmart. And then if I click save, so now when I right click here, you'll see why the box, click on that, because I'm a drop shipper, right? So that's the way it works, um, saves me a lot of time. And uh, I send this also to my virtual assistants to use. So the next one I want to cover is right here. We're going to skip to for now. This one is called Simply Gmail Notes. This one's really useful because if I open up an email, because I have this Chrome extension added, you now get this yellow box here where you can add notes. I added this note a couple of days ago. I just put hello in there for demonstration. Now we've come back and it's still there. So I use this so I can keep track of things in my email. I have a virtual assistant helping me with email. So I write notes to her, she writes notes back to me. Um, pretty useful to have that. So let me show you the next one that I use. If, if you guys just noticed two Chrome extensions disappeared from up here, those were two that I used to use and don't use anymore. So uh, just ignore those ones. I'm going to show you the next one that I use. This one's called uh, Feather Shot, I believe it's called. Great thing about it is when you click it, it opens up a new tab. And when you open up this new tab, you can just use your mouse to select an area and it takes a screenshot of it. So what's the benefit of this when most computers have screenshot technology built into it? Well, what I love about it is you can add notes to it right here. So I might add an arrow then I upload it, click that upload button. It takes about a second. Now, if I send anyone this link, they'll see the screenshot. So this is really cool to use because it's really fast. I would only use this for information that's not sensitive because you know, quite honestly, I don't even know how to delete this screenshot once I'm done using it. And anyone could send the screenshot to anyone they want. So there's no way for you to really control it um, or keep it private. So, I mean, I guess if you send anyone a screenshot through like email, they could send it out to whoever they want to, but this is just really fast, but it is on the web. So, so I wouldn't use like sense, take pictures of sensitive information here. So that's really cool to use. I use that when I'm telling my virtual assistants things, when I'm talking to my students inside my course and they have a question about where something is, I send them this screenshot and it works really well for that. The other thing I just installed is something similar, but you can do, it's called Screencastify. And this will allow you to take screen recordings right from in here similar where it uploads it to the to a website actually uploads it to your Google Drive and then you can send someone the link to Google Drive. Again, I have screen recording software on my computer that actually works better than this, but for something quick, if a student has a question, if a VA has a question, I'll use this because it's just so quick. And because it does upload to my Google Drive, I can always delete it later, so it's a little bit more safer in that in that way. The last one I wanna cover here is the important one that I mentioned before, that I think everyone needs to be using because if you're not, you could really get yourself screwed. So that's called NordVPN. Now, this one is not free. They might have like a free version, but I've paid for it. This also isn't the only VPN. It just happens to be the one that I use. 
And what this does is this will protect your computer when you're on a public Wi-Fi. So I use this when I'm at the library, when I'm in a coffee shop. It, I think it's really important. You're dealing with financial information here when you're running a business, you're logging into your eBay account, your Amazon account, your bank accounts. You don't want that information being sent through public Wi-Fi. This will protect you a VPN. I actually have it on my computer. That's the one I use, but they do have a Chrome extension. Uh, there are free ones, like I said. I'm not sure how well they work. I know NordVPN works really well. Personally, I think it's worth paying money to get one that you know is going to work well if it gives you that protection. So there you go. Those are all the Chrome extensions I use to run my eBay and Amazon dropshipping businesses. And I reach out to some of my students and ask them if there's any that they use that I might not have heard of. And people mention several others. So coincidentally, one of them is Grammarly. Grammarly is, I've looked at this before, it makes sure that you're using correct grammar in all your sentences. So in this example, it says, and then I thought, why not? When really you're supposed to be using then. So most you know, auto corrects or spell checks will check for spelling, but not grammar that well. So this will make your emails more grammatically correct or your messages. Somebody also mentioned one called Honey, which will, which is a website, or sorry, a Chrome extension that will help you figure out if there is better prices available for items. Uh, so another great suggestion from one of my students. Another student recommended Be Frugal. Like I mentioned, I use Giving Assistant and Simply Best Coupon for cashback, but I'm pretty sure most of the cashback websites now have their own Chrome extension be frugal is one of them. So, so many out there, so many Chrome extensions out there that can help you run your business. If I didn't mention one that you use, let me know in the comment section of this video. I love trying new Chrome extensions. I kind of geek out over them. So let me know which ones you're using so I can check them out and other people can learn from them. And uh, I personally read every single comment in all my videos. So uh, yeah, definitely leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you like this video or found one of these extensions helpful that you didn't know about, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you love the video, make sure to subscribe for more content about eBay and Amazon dropshipping. And if you're eager to learn more about eBay dropshipping, I have a free webinar that I'm hosting soon. It's going to teach you exactly how to get started with eBay dropshipping and pretty much the one very simple skill that you need in order to get started. I think most people don't even realize that they already know this skill and have already mastered it. So if you're curious what that skill is or curious about what it takes to start an eBay dropshipping business, check out that webinar. I'll link that, that'll be the first link in the description of this video underneath that will be the links to all the other Chrome extensions that I mentioned in this video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.